Hey guys, as you know, I'm a Figmaholic, and uh, today they released something called Variants. And if you haven't played with it, absolutely go and have a look. It is amazing. It's going to make life easier for developers, easier for designers, and easier for anyone interested in design systems. Obviously, I played with my design systems first as soon as I saw this, but then something rang a little bell. I um, thought I'd make something cute for the community. Juncture is a um, particular point in events or time. And in this scenario, I've highlighted ira as it means hours in, in my language, um, which is Afrikaans. So it's pretty much a tool to help you plan and manage your workload in Figma. It's a project management tool, but it's very, very, very simplified. But if people can play chess and games over Figma, why not project plan properly? So it includes components and, and variants, obviously, because that is something I played with today. And all of the tables are fully scalable and yeah. It's designed with love from me to you and hopefully does two things, makes your planning life easier and makes you play with variants because it's absolutely fantastic. Special thanks to Anya from Sarden for her ambient overlays. Guys, I'm using this everywhere. Thank you, Anya. You're a genius. So yeah, as I mentioned, Juncture is a time management tool and a project management tool and helps you plan. What I can tell you is I've done three different color schemes for three different users for the initial rollout. So there is a file that you can just jump in on the left-hand side on this page. You can literally just jump in and start planning. But I'm gonna um, work on a new page as if I'm using the assets from scratch and the local components from scratch. So that if you guys have to do other pages, days, plans, things in Figma, you know how to do this from scratch. So it's as easy as going to your assets. There's planner A, B, and C. You can add planner A. Now, very important, if you do drag in um, a component, um, please uh, detach the instance, uh, both from the actual full layout as well as the table, otherwise things are going to break. You can literally do anything here. Let's make it 2021. Because everyone has had enough of 2020. But if this time uh, isn't accurate to how you want to do your planning, you can enter anything that you want here. Fantastic. So let's make up a company. And now we can start adding tasks. Okay, so this is where the cool stuff starts happening. I can now pretty much by pressing Command D or Control D, depending on what you're using, to create more plans. And then what's super cool is I can alternate between white and gray so that you can get a clear distinction of what is happening. Yeah. So for my Figma is the bomb tasks that I have to do, I have to do components, I have to do design a plan, a view, I have to, I don't know, create a video. And then obviously not going to have just one client, so you can add as many clients as you want. And there's your plan. So now you've done your planning and everything is quite fantastic. But again, guys, we're here for the variance. Um, this is where the cool stuff starts. You can now manage all of these tasks that you've created. As you can see, there's a cute button here on the side that's saying it's new. Obviously, I have created the component, so I can say this is done. Um, I have done that. I'm busy doing that. This is quite urgent. And uh, this is quite urgent. And for some other reason, client two has a fire. It is very, very urgent. It's a yesterday project. And um, yeah, I've already invoiced for that. This is gonna make planning a breeze, especially if you have multiple people working remotely and you have to sit together and plan. And obviously the thing that is so amazing about Figma is the sharing abilities. I can now go and share my project plan 
with whoever needs to see it. If I'm working, if I'm collaborating with another developer or designer, they can pretty much see how far I am with the steps um, that I put down in a planning session with them for a specific client. Um, so yeah, that, that is, that is hopefully quite helpful. Um, thanks for listening. <laughs>